what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be making a short video on how to delete the tpms light on this particular car is a 2012 ford mustang uh six cylinder it's a similar process to all the s1 s197 because i couldn't really find no information directly to the 2012 and i compiled a little bit from what i found from the 2010 to 2014 and managed to get to where i need to get to delete the life of the tpms sensor Peter, you're gonna go to your force cam you open that up and like right off the bat you go here to set to the um about and then you go over here you're gonna have a, a license but it's not gonna be an extended license it's just gonna be a regular license and it has it's gonna have a little tab over here that's gonna say uh, copy the clipboard you copy that and you go to their website right there which is forkan.org and you register and you up you basically submit your info and you'll get an extended license once you get that extended license you're gonna they're gonna send you an email with it you're gonna download that email and then you go enter activation code and you're gonna upload that email that they send you the little file and that's gonna be your extended license so um yeah that's the way to get it activated now for the program you will want to go obviously connect your vehicle and plug it up usb i have one issue with this like sometimes like when i plug it in it'll read all the hs and ms can code uh, modules and sometimes it'll only read the hs module obviously you need all of, all of them so when connecting, you want to get make sure you got the HS can code and can modules and the MS can module. So you go connect, and it'll start reading from the vehicle, or whatever. I don't want to uh, load the preloaded ones, no. So, um, first it'll get your H HS can, um, modules. It'll take a few seconds and then after that it'll ask you to flick the switch in the um modify uh OBD uh, cable. There. Now you go and you flick the the little switch and then you press OK. Now if you press OK and it asks you to save the file, like to save the, the whatever file is read from the vehicle. That means it's not reading your MS cam. But if you press OK and it starts reading like that, it starts adding more more modules and you're on the right track. A lot of times when I when I first got the cable, I used to press OK and it will automatically ask me that question right there. Would you like to save the profile for this vehicle? So if it asks you that exactly when you press OK, it's not gonna read your MS module. So you're gonna have to do it over again until you get that MS module to read. So I'm not gonna save this right now because I already have all this saved. All right, then after you, that's all read, you go over here to the little um, chip type of tab, and you look for the gem module. And you could go here, but this one is not really gonna do anything because if you go here, all you'll see is on my on my screen you're gonna see uh, the tire pressure error and the rear tire pressure error. That's because I went to be as built which is the one that you really need to go to you go here and then you go on the little run service procedure you press that press ok all right now once that's loaded in on this one right here in the 7260201 that's the module that you want to change now on your vehicle it will say something like u3co or three UCO something like that. Uh, two three two three. If it's a 2014, it'll say two three two three on this eight on this hex core right here. And that's where I was getting confused because I was going to the computer and I never saw a two three two three. I saw a two zero two zero. And then over here it was the same code. It was a U three CO. So for both vehicles, it's the same over here. It's a U three CO, and this one is a. 2020 for the at least for the 2012 possibly the 2011 it's a 2020 as well so what you want to do is you want to change this hex code all to zero 
and once you change the mode to zero you go right just don't worry about this one this one you don't need it once you change this two to zero you go press right you could either press right over here or you could just go down here and just put right off and once you press that it's just gonna say will you light for brain whatever because there's nothing changing but once you if you're gonna change something it's gonna show you the module that you're changing and just accept it just press yes and you don't really have to worry about anything yes you don't really have to worry about damaging anything if you change something just make sure that you remember what you change like for example if you change yeah after you change after you change your module it's gonna ask you to turn your ignition off and on just go off and wait like two three seconds and go back on and then it says okay but um yeah like if you if for example if you change this by mistake to zero zero once you, you can just go back to it and write 43 and write it it's not going to damage anything just make sure you remember the value that you changed and the value that you deleted now the values for this i have it written on, on my computer on my note somewhere but i this one over here is to be a u3co and this one is a 200 so it's not something that hard to remember and besides i don't think i'm getting any tire pressure sensors anyway so it's just going to stay deleted so yeah once that's set up you can just press stop over here and if you're all set you can just proceed to disconnect your vehicle from the from the system and once that's done then you're all set and you shouldn't have to worry about that tpms light no more so i, I hope you guys had a i hope you guys found this video useful i know it's not a lot of information but it's something just to lead you in the right path to get the tpms light deleted from your car and if you need if you have any questions or anything don't hesitate to ask just write it down in the comments and i'll get back to you thanks guys i hope you guys have a good day and stay safe